video in which we'll discuss about the articles and the types of articles. So before we start, we should know about what is the importance of articles and why we should use the articles. Now, the why we should use the articles because the articles tells us about the word which is definite or an indefinite word, or it is telling about specific something specific or in general. So this is why we have to use an article, and this one tells the importance because if you will not just understand that if the word is specific or we are talking in general. You will not understand that we are talking about that or this one, this or that. That's why we there should be the article. Now, because we should know that what are articles. Now, as I to be realistic, and as I told that articles tell us the word if it is an definite or an indefinite. So now we we'll learn the, the types of articles. Now there are two types of articles. Definite and the indefinite. First, we learn about the definite. Now, definite articles tells us. Sorry, the before it, the in the definite article, there is the word the. We use the word the because the word the just tells us about a particular thing because it comes in definite and definite means the we are talking about a particular thing, particular thing that in the paragraph or in sentence we are talking about a thing. First, second time, like the word we are talking second time, and the word is only one. All we are talking specific. Like there are a lot of apples, there are a lot of boys in the class. I am not talking about that only boy. So this is that the boy is good. We are talking about that boy. The word will use another, then we it will not specify anyone. It will not specify that boy. So we should use the, and we also use the when we are talking about something which is only one. Like there is earth, it is only one in the world. So that's why we said the earth. Like this, we can use the. Now we will learn about the indefinite articles. So indefinite articles they consist of a and an. So when we use an and, and, we have to use a. And when we are talking about something general means there are a lot of books and we are not telling we are not specifying any book like we are not specifying any gra- grammar book or math book we are just telling there are books so i want a book you are not specified give me that only book give me that book we are just saying give me any book give me a book we are talking in full that pile only one book any one book So that's why we are talking general. We are not specified. So that's why we use or an and or like over the examples. An apple. There are a lot of apples. We are just uh, telling that any one apple, an apple, a man. There are a lot of mans. Only one man, a man. And now this was the indefinite. And most of the people just be confused in what where we have to use a uh, and an. Now they know that. In when we are talking about an indefinite, we use a uh, and an, but they use sometimes like before this word we have to put a, uh, but they put an, and before this word we have to put an, but they put a, uh. so means a. Now, so how to reduce this con- confusion? How to uh, how to reduce this condition confusion? So what we should do? We should just know the vowels and the consonants. Now vowels and consonants because the Words sound that first sound which comes should be a vowel. Then we will just put a line like word because the sound of word comes a vowel and it comes an article and a consonant name the sound. Then we have to put a a like over the example was apple and the starting sound comes of a. And a is in bubble, and man, m. The starting sound is m. M. Then m is in consonant, so o. And like this, only some people think that the starting sound is coming. That so starting word will only be the consonant word. So we should see the word. We will not do that much thing. But 
the word R now. Some words are like this also. They are starting letters in consonant, but the sound is of vowel. Or the sound is of consonant, but starting letter is of vowel. Like this, they confuse. That's why I prefer to just see the sound, the sound of the starting letter. Like we take the example of our R. Now it's starting sound of O, our. But the starting letter is S, so we have no not put A, O. We have to put an because starting sound comes O. That's why like this you have to hear sound thing if it is vowel, consonant, and just put the word. So this was how to use where to put A and an. And today we have learned about the articles. What are the articles? Types of articles, definite. and the indefinite so this was the end of the video and thank you for watching this video till the end and please subscribe and like our channel and tap the bell icon for the future video notifications thank you and thank